Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to another episode of Tech with Ro. In this episode, we're going to be looking at, let me pull out the Tech with Ro flyer here. We're going to be looking at Xcode once again, and we're going to be using Xcode in the Xbox language. I'm going to write some code and I'm going to explain it as I write it. And let's begin, I'm going to explain some of the basic things, because in previous code I've written, I haven't really explained everything. So let's begin with the C out CN. So let's go open up Xcode. I'm going to go to my Tech with Throw project that we, we've already had. Let it build and run. And then we're just going to start out from scratch. This is what we learned last 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 uh, episode, so I believe it was. So I'm going to delete all everything to here. And we're going to start out with the CN. Okay, let's say, okay, CN, CN right here, is basically an input. Input. C out is basically an output, what we want to output to the screen. So let's just begin. Let's let's have we're gonna establish an integer int, and we're gonna name it one. I mean a, and it's gonna have a value of zero, and then we're gonna have c in. Okay, first we're gonna have c out. Actually, we're gonna print this out to the screen saying enter a number number. Yeah, put that semicolon to end the line, and then we're gonna do. They're gonna cn. Just this is the input where the user inputs a number, and which we're gonna do a. We want the user enter a number, and the number whatever number we they enter, it will be stored in a. So then, then we want we're gonna do another c out. Put your number is very simple stuff right here. Yeah, now we're done. Now what we're gonna do now build and run this right here. And here it says enter a number, which executes this code right here. Now when we enter the number, which let's say five, and then we hit enter, five and enter, it says your number is oh, you see it doesn't it says nothing because uh we didn't enter the what we want here what we want here. So we want your number is numbers A. End line. There we are. Also, we want a no, we don't want an end line there. So, yeah, there we are. End line is basically doing it to the next line. End line. Like, like basically tab or enter to return or return that's it that's the return key basically and line is the return key so here we are we got see how your number is we didn't have the a here meaning because that way I mean earlier that way we had not that's why we had nothing up here here because we didn't assign a variable what we wanted the number to be so here we are we're gonna do this again okay we got the output to the screen see out enter a number the user enters inputs a number and we're going to store that user input in cn which is a and then an a right here and then we're going to print out that input your number is a so we should get enter a number 5 and then when we hit enter it says your number is 5 and there we are this is all the code that's it that's cn c out it's very simple c out is output cn is basically input that's the easy way, so easiest way to to understand that so let's bring up the chord we're going to go to the this is the and as everybody know, would know this is an and symbol but in coding it, it you put double of them which means and and then the two um, lines straight lines means or and the way you would use this is ba mainly they would be used in like an if else statement let's say we have if I've already taught you guys if statements if else statements so if Let's say A is greater than 1. If A is greater than 1, then we're, then we're just going to put C out your number. Let's just number is greater than 1. And let's go 
that's another this right here also means end line just in case I haven't explained that before it's basically this that means the same thing as this it's just simpler to write it inside of it and here we are here's a simple if statement so I'm gonna comment this out if statement the variable variable I probably spelled that wrong output slash input and then we have the result result there we are Dang it. I'm spelling everything wrong result result All right, now that makes sense so here we are now this is very simple if a is greater than one if it's the number is greater than one then it will be then it will print this they will print this statement out on top of this statement I mean, it will print both of those statements out. So let's go. Let's go five, and we'll get your number is greater than one. Your number is five. And then if we go, if we go zero, it'll be just your number is zero. It won't print this one because the number isn't a isn't greater than one. Now, if we went a is greater than one, and and the and symbol, and a is less than five then we'll put your number is greater than one and less than five five here we are now if we build now again and we get an entry number I'm gonna put in let's say I'm gonna put in zero it's, it's gonna say your number is zero now if we put in three it will be your number is greater than one and less than five your number is three and then if we did like seven, which is greater, which is less, not which is greater than five, which is greater than one, but it's not less than five, so this code should not be executed. So we hit enter. It'll be your number is seven, that because it didn't qualify for this. Now or basically works the same way. So let's say a is greater than one. No, let's say if a is greater than a is less let's go with a is less than negative one and then the or symbol which is two lines right next to each other and a is greater than five or let's just go ten it will say your your number is less than negative one and less and uh, greater than ten. Now that's this is how the or would work. It's very common. It's pretty much common sense. So let's go. Let's go. Which is if a is less than one. Which is let's put in a as negative five, and it'll execute the code. Your number is less than negative one, or or is it should be or is not and let's go negative five again your number is less than negative one or is greater than ten your number is negative five so now if we go in between those two let's go just go to five which is it's it's not less than negative one nor is it greater than ten so the code shouldn't execute a is less than negative one or a is greater than I have a negative symbol let's go greater than now if we put in 5 it will be your number is 5 this code does not execute yeah I had a little error this symbol needs to be switched around so yeah that's the and and or symbols let's go to the next one then we have the greater than and less than signs which I just showed you guys then we also have greater than or equal to or gr less than or equal to which those are common sense it's basically when you have when you include the equal sign greater than and equal to negative one that means when you put negative one this will also execute but if you only if you put negative one it wouldn't execute like let's say okay I have the equals let's without the equal sign and I put in negative one the code will not execute now if I put an equal sign there and then I did negative one the code will execute because we're saying if it is, if it is less than negative one, 
if without the equal sign, or then a is less than or equal to negative one. So it's it's very basic stuff, basic basic math right there. So let's go on to the next one. Then we have the this is basically the not this the exclamation mark in Xcode in C plus plus means not, and this is not equal to. So I mean does not equal to. So th let's just go with this is the most common one. Does not equal. So let's let's just go back to the basic. We're gonna delete everything in here. I'm gonna say a if a does does not does not equal to five, then we'll put your number is not a five. Your number is not a five. So here we are. We're gonna we go enter a number, we're gonna put in the two, and it'll be your number is not a five. Is not whoops, I messed up. Give me a second. Decoding. I need the inline there. Your let's go let's go three. Your number is not a five. Your number is three. A does not equal 5. So if A does not equal 5, this code will execute. Your number is not a 5. A does not equal 5. That, that means this code will execute. So we our number was 3, so it wasn't 5, so this code executed. Now if we did this, we had a... Uh, I just comment this one out for now. That way it's not interfering. Enter a number. Let's, let's say we got three again. Okay, your number is not a five. It's not a five, so it's correct. Now, if we were to put in a five, it would do nothing. After we hit enter, it would do absolutely nothing because this code is not going to get executed. If because we're saying if a does not equal five, which it is equal five, execute this code right here. But since it does equal five, it will not execute this code because it e equals five. So yeah, I hope you guys understand that. Hope I explain everything a little bit better. That way, when we come to these symbols and using these symbols later on in the Tech with Row Xcode and C++ tutorials, uh, everybody will understand. But I hope that helps you guys. And that's about it. For the questions and suggestions, be sure to leave a comment below. And if you there, you have a suggestion of what the next Tech with Row episode should be, be sure to let me know. Hope you guys enjoy.